My name is Martin Puckner. I'm a professor of English and Comparative Literature at Harvard University. I actually started in philosophy, but then about 15 years ago, I became the general editor of a large anthology. It's called the Norton Anthology of World Literature, which goes from the Epic of Gilgamesh to the 20th century in about 6,000 pages. And, and that experience really kind of blew my mind. It got me interested in big picture questions. How and under what circumstances was writing invented? How often was it invented? In which parts of the world? What are the broad shapes of different literary traditions? Uh, with a particular emphasis on writing technologies. The project I'm going to work on here at the Academy is a history of a secret language, an underground language, a thieves language. It's a combination of English, Hebrew, and German. There's no written record because it was a purely spoken language, but the police started to keep track of this language. And so this is the record I'm working with. Now, Rotwelsch is a very obscure language. It's really forgotten now. Uh, the only reason why I know about it is because my family has been strangely entangled with it. I learned this language from my uncle, who was obsessed with it, who incorporated it, it into his own poetry, who started to translate bits of world literature into this language that basically only he could speak. And I started to do some family history and, and found, I think, the reason why this uncle was so obsessed with the language, which had to do with the secret history of his father, my grandfather, who it turns out was an early Nazi. He was a Nazi historian who wrote against this language, who attacked this language. And so I think my uncle's life's mission was in some ways, whether he knew it or not, a form of atonement uh, or revenge. In any case, there was a strange family inheritance at work that I suppose now has reached me in the third generation.